Hey guys, it's Meteor Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. First off, we'll do bullet points. So two to three storm systems lined up through 216 and then 217. The third storm, 213, 214, 215, is going to be the biggest, the coldest, with the best track and most organization. So that's the one I'm watching the most. Um, looking at the northeast, I really don't have much other than a rain-snow mix from two different storm systems for the northeast. So the numbers are lower in the northeast as a result of those mixing um, scenarios. So we'll take a look at that coming up here in just a few. I want to show you the setup. So this is water vapor. Oranges and reds represent the drier air. I went ahead and just marked the lows. And it's pretty obvious. You can see the storm track um, just coming right off the North Pacific. And the initial trajectories are all into the Pacific Northwest and BC. So that's where some of the biggest grand totals are going to be over the next seven to nine days. They'll all then corral that moisture, track it down through the Intermountain West, and we'll see some decent numbers, um, especially in Colorado, northern New Mexico, northern Idaho, northwest Montana, in addition to the Pacific Northwest and B.C. All right, let me just show you what the jet's going to look like. 217, so that large storm, number three, on 213, 214, 215, goes through and out. It's out of there by late 215, so... Then there's some internal ridging that happens across the Intermountain West. Another trough there already hitting the West Coast on 217. That's what you're looking at. So it's an active pattern. And you can see there's some southern branch involvement as well. So that might actually help with all of this down the road. All right, let me just show you what the timing of this is going to look like. So this is the forecast radar and satellite. All right, so by tomorrow morning, quick load dropping out of Colorado. There's Friday morning at 6, waiting, waiting. Here comes that low that hits California, drops down through the Sierra, and then it's gone. So that's why I kind of went with two to three storm systems. But here comes the largest one of the bunch. On 13, 213, it's moving into the Pacific Northwest, hitting BC, and, and starting to move into Idaho and Northwest Montana. By 214, 215, it's tracking through the Tetons. It's tracking through the Wasatch into Colorado and northern New Mexico. That's the one that has the most cold air with it. So there you go. Also, I did do a blog post today, chrystomer.com. Take a look at that. There's some timing in there if you want to look at what I think the key time frames are for snow in the Tetons, Wasatch, and in Colorado. All right, let's talk numbers. Rest of today through the 10th, some of that snow sliding through Colorado tonight, 1 to 4 inches, nothing big, just enough to freshen things up. And then we already start to see some snow hitting the Pacific Northwest and B.C. up to a foot in those areas by the end of 210. All right, here's the second period. So this is 211 through 217, another one to two feet in the Pacific Northwest, BC, Timberline, down to Bachelor. So I'm looking at three feet potentially for Whistler and Baker. A little bit less than Stevens, obviously less for Timberline and Bachelor as a, and I'll show you my specialty map for them coming up here in a sec. A little bit of snow for California, nothing big. A little bit of snow in the Tetons and the uh, the Wasatch, nothing huge. Some nice snow in Big Sky. Colorado. All right, so the storm that comes through on 214, 215 is where we see most of this snow um, in Colorado. And it could be big, depending on the southern track nature. We could be looking at some pretty big totals through the San Juans, southern Colorado, and even northern New Mexico. So we'll keep an eye on that track. That final storm is the coldest and the biggest, 213, 214, 215. All right, specialty maps. Colorado, 28 through 217, a grand total map. I-70 north, 6 to 8 inches. Um, of course, bigger numbers in the San Juan, southern Colorado, over a foot in some places, as I, as I was showing you just a second ago. I'll go back to that. You can see those numbers. So we could be looking at more than what we're seeing here in the southern mountains of Colorado. Specialty map number two, grand totals, 2.8 through 2.17, Pacific Northwest. There's your three-footer over Baker, uh, one to two feet, Stevens, Rainier, Whistler. All right, let's go to the northeast. Again, I don't have anything big here. One to six inches will probably do it. Um, Unfortunately, the two storms I'm tracking will probably be a rain-snow mix for the Northeast, cutting down on accumulations. All right, guys, there you go. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Again, this is the uh, afternoon weather update. Take care. Have a good one.